Hi, my name is Minnie from Noah's Ark Pet Resort and Spa with all dog breeds. Thank you for taking the time to watch my show. Today we have a very special guest. This is Haven. Can you guess what type of dog Haven is? Did you say Great Pyrenees? If you did, you're absolutely right. The Great Pyrenees was once known as the Royal Dog of France. They have been considered one of the most beautiful dogs for their stunning white coats and imposing presence. Today I have a few fun facts about the Great Pyrenees I'd like to share with you. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. First, the Great Pyrenees originated from the Pyrenees Mountains of France as livestock guardian dogs. The breed descended from ancient Mastiff type dogs. Their white coats allow them to blend in amongst the flock. They were guarding and surprised any predators, such as bears and wolves, attempting to be a disturbance. The Great Pyrenees wore heavy iron collars with spikes to protect their necks. This breed has been around for a while. One of the earliest mentions of them was in 1407 by a historian named Bordet. He documented in writing that these guardian dogs guarded the Chateau as Flores, located in the Pyrenees region of southwest France. Down the road, King Louis XIV eyed these dogs, took a liking to the stunning white breed, and made it his royal dog and part of his household guard. The Great Pyrenees was first brought to the United States in the 1800s. However, in 1931, Mr. and Mrs. France B. Crane imported several of these dogs over to, ser to uh, seriously lost and developed the breed in North America. They imported many breeding stock to prosper the beautiful dogs before borders closed for World War II. In 1933, American Kennel Club recognized the Great Pyrenees as a breed in the Working Breed Group. Second, the Great Pyrenees was once commonly used as a flock guardian dog. Now is more commonly used as a family companion. They are still used in some areas as a working dog. They do well as a family companion though because they are loving, they are gentle, they are great with children, and they require moderate activity or exercise. However, because they are guardian dogs, by nature they require early socialization and training as they can be suspicious of strangers. However, they are watchful and protective of their family, which is what we all truly want, right? Right, Haven? Third, the Great Pyrenees are dogs known to be wanderers. This means the perimeter of your property should have a fence. If not, the Great Pyrenees will wander away or they will enlarge their, tor their territory. And basically, what they decide is theirs is theirs to protect. Fourth, the Great Pyrenees are independent thinkers and highly intelligent for their important for the importance of having to make decisions on their own to guard their flock. Even though you apply early training techniques, they are not a German Shepherd or a Collie or an Australian cattle dog or a Dalmatian. You might tell the Great Pyrenees to lay down and they sit, or you say stand and they lay down. They require patience and consistent training to get them to do what you want them to do. Don't let them fool you though. They might play dumb. They are not dumb at all. Fifth, the little white snowball grows to a large dog breed size, easily to 25 to 32 inches at the shoulder and weighs 85 to 115 pounds. This average lifespan, or his average lifespan is 10 to 12 years. Six, these dogs require weekly grooming. They have a lot of fur, as you can see with Haven. She's a big fluff ball. They have a double coat, or I should say a double white coat with, a, with markings of either gray, badger, reddish, brown, or any shade of tan. Because, they're thick coat, because of their thick coat, they prefer the colder climates and are more sensitive to the heat. However, this does not mean you can't have one of these beautiful dogs in warmer climates. They just may want to hang out with you in the air-conditioned house. 
They still want to sit outside in the heat, that's all. Like any other dog breed, the Gray Pyrenees are also prone to certain health issues like hip dysplasia, heart problems, cancers, eye problems, and a few other health issues. Just because these issues are seen in the breed does not mean you will experience them. This isn't to discourage you from getting the Great Pyrenees. Rather, I would encourage you to do your research ahead of time and buy a Great Pyrenees from a reputable breeder. It's been fun talking about the Great Pyrenees today. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed watching this video, please help me out. Subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Looking forward to seeing you next time on All Dog Breeds. Thank you.